hope all of you can hear me at the back. Thank you for confirmation. The delay in recruitment processes significantly impacts organizational efficiencies and your capability to innovate. The lengthy time that takes between a job posting towards the onboarding process that really results in the loss of revenue of your organization, significant reduction in productivity, and more importantly, as all of you might concur with me, dissatisfaction, stakeholder dissatisfaction, both internal and external alike. As the positions are unfilled, the current set of employees would feel the intensified pain of overwork, and that significantly contributes to the burnout as well as decreased employee morale. So, with the advent of AI, we have some solutions that we want to address. So filling a position, filling a vacancy, is not about onboarding an individual anymore. It's all about contributing to organizational growth. Filling a vacancy is no longer about doing a job and getting someone onboarded. It's about fueling organizational growth and contributing to the pace of innovation so that your organization stays relevant and contemporary. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Prem Nair, co-founder and partner of Merp Systems. As my uh, person who introduced me, we are a digital services organization based in Washington, DC. Today, I'll be touching upon catalyzing transformation. How do you tap into AI, the advancements in artificial intelligence, and improve the process of recruitment, which is the cornerstone of your HR activity? So let me make sure I am navigating the, uh, might be a problem here. Excuse me. Okay. Any technologists around here? All right, perfect. So before I dive into the you know, actual solution that we want to present to you, a quick overview of who we are and what we do. Corporate headquarters, Washington, D.C. We have our offices in Oman. Quality certification, CMMI, as well as ISO 9000. We support U.S. federal agencies, nonprofits, and state and local governments. And on the right-hand side, you would see what we do. It's all about digital transformation. Whether it's a paper-based HR system that you have, or you have a legacy HR system that's on Excel, Access, or even distributed file folders, we take these legacy systems and create modern day applications using a combination of Microsoft technologies. We are a Microsoft Gold Services partner. Am I missing the navigation here? Okay. All right, here is our solution focus. What do we use to build these enterprise-grade applications. We heard a lot about AI, advancements in AI, and how AI advancements are contributing to the application development. You look at these technology stack, the low-code platform, as well as the pro-code platform. Focus here is, your business stakeholders don't need to know the technologies to survive and build the functional, functionaries, ancillary functions onto your systems. The, the stack of technologies that we use, the power platform, the low-code platform, as well as the layer beneath that, which is the Azure services. Copilot is a conversational agent that lets your team to use the natural language processes to learn about what the system does. I'll go to the next slide, a quick snapshot of our past performance. 
Center for Disease Control in Washington, D.C. uses an employee incident management system that we created called CCRA. Any employee events, whether it is a harassment prevention case or any adverse events, system by CCRA. Comprehensive test brand treaty organization in Aust Vienna, Austria. We support their applications on the platforms that I uh, spoke previously. Now, an organization's credibility is all about what are the solutions that they build. You look us upon Microsoft App Source, you will see seven accelerator solutions listed. Now, what we're proposing to do here is, as the core organizational functionality, your team, your HR team, would require a system that is best in class, a system that's easy to navigate, that's intuitive in nature, and a system that allows you to do efficient recruitment and onboarding. A system that lets you do a robust e-learning, a system that allows you to a centralized platform management for the HR processes, and something that lets you automate all of your data and migrate them. And the choice of your options are right here. The core of your HR system will need what we call as the talent acquisition system, profile management system, goal management, performance, succession planning, all of the core features. And what do we recommend? Microsoft Dynamics 365. Whether it's your talent management system or it's your organizational management system that talks about personal, business processes, or your employee experience from self-service, we use Microsoft Dynamics 365 to fuel your HR growth. One step advanced, how do you extend the ecosystem of Microsoft? LinkedIn, Gulf Talent, Indeed. How do I make sure that I mine these resume databases and reduce my time to recruit? So extending this application, connecting with downward systems, upward systems, making early decisions possible with Dynamics 365. Integrating with payroll, extremely flexible. You want to build on another workflow process that is very native to your organization, possible on Dynamics 365. Then you might ask me, if Microsoft is doing all the work, why are you here? We are the AI experts. Here is the power of data, as you know. You can aggregate all the data that you need, but your data has to make, it has to become information to you. It has to make sense to you. That's where Power BI would come into play. How many positions are open? Why is this taking this long? I approved this job requisition two months ago. Why is it still in the mold? Making sense of your organizational data Using dashboards and reports, we use Power BI. Then what? Microsoft does all this, Power Platform does all this, Power BI gives you a report. Here is what we built. Objective here, take advantage of AI and create an efficient and ef effective recruitment system. One click of a button, can I generate a job description? As one of the previous panelists said here, if you have organizational templates and information that you want to carry over, you can have AI learn that, or AI will pick it up and create a job profile for you. One click of a button. Let's say I'm planning to hire an accountant. One click, it generates a job profile for you. You can edit, you can maneuver, you can manage, you can add weightage in terms of how much you want to give it when you hire that particular position, but it allows you seamless creation. Another one. Same click of button, I sent it to you as my manager for an approval and said, sir, please take a look at it and see. Sir, madam, please take a look at it, review it. The manager reviews it, one click of a button, review, approval, posting done. Application goes to LinkedIn, application goes to Golf Talent, application goes to Indeed, anywhere you want. One click of a button, your own institutionalized organization portal, doable. What more? Now it's the most in interesting part. Most, ex I would say most exciting part of the application that we build is 
automated resume ranking. You're constructing a new stadium. You're constructing a new facility. You're, you're hiring in masses. Maybe not. You have 10 technicians needed in the span of 10 days. How do you do this? You post the, post the job posting onto the portal or wherever you want, or even a manned email, a common inbox. Resumes pile up. We let the AI engine do the ranking for you. Open AI. From 100 days of recruitment, it has narrowed down to now five days. Even that is a stretch. Now, what, what I will also show you is how Copilot is helping you remove the bias, as the panelists said earlier, right? So AI has its own mechanism to rank, but you do not want to discard or reject any candidate based on the artificial intelligence that's provided by a machine. You think that you know better, you ask the question. You ask the question to the conversational agent Copilot, and Copilot lets you define what's important to you. Why is Sultan higher, ranked higher than, let's say, Yasmin as a case maybe? I'll show you a screenshot. We built that for you on Microsoft platform. And now, subsequent steps include one click of a button, your preferred person gets interviewed by one of your peers or one of the supervisors who will be responsible for hiring. One click. Finally, we're also working on something substantial. We hope to release that soon, a facilitated interview process through AI. So the phenomenal option, and these are some screenshots that I want to socialize with you. The same, one click of a button, it automates the job creation. Here you can see that accounts manager. I click on the generate button, it fills in the necessary information for you. You may have an organizational template or may not. If you do, we can train the model to use the organizational model that you may have. If not, don't worry. Let AI do the job for you. Open AI do the job for you. Localization. What language? I want to make sure that everything that I converse is in Arabic. No worries. In Parsi, no worries. In Hindi, no worries. We can do that. Here is what I was talking about. The conversational open AI agent that fuels the growth, right? You come in here, you ask the question. This is what the system does for you, right? You have 50 applicants. One click of a button, you, you did what's called as resume ranking. It created what's called as a highly ranked set of people, followed by cold prospects. Once again, we do not eliminate. We don't want to do that. What we do here is we rank. Now, as a conversationalist, the HR journalist has not really been uh, you know, uh, what's called is uh, in liberty to spend quite a bit of time. She or he is going to ask the question, why is Sultan most qualified? Where does he live? What's his profile? What's his experience? You ask the same questions to the agent and confirm the ranking that the engine built for you. That is OpenAI for you. This is the dashboard. Most of you are managerial decision makers. Or at least you need to provide these reports to your supervisors. Supported by Power BI, this particular interface lets you create these data points, not from your HR system, but across the systems, right? You could have resume mining that's coming from, let's say, LinkedIn. It could be the data points that you're assimilated from other job boards, yours internally, anything. You have a powerful agent right here sitting fueled by Power BI, by Microsoft. So I would say, orchestrating your recruitment process. Enabling them for the recruitment or the resume matching. And then finally, ranking them and hiring. So do you want to make sure that your HR processes are accelerated? Hire a new person. And that new person name is Microsoft OpenAI. And what did we do with it? We created a solution on top of the framework that Microsoft offered called Microsoft Dynamics 365. Do you necessarily have to have Microsoft Dynamics 365? I know I'm talking a little bit technology here, because you might wonder, you talked about a low-code platform earlier called Power Apps. Some of you may be familiar, right? So what we've done is we've also isolated the solution and ported it onto Power Platform, a standalone solution that would leverage the openness of the Power Platform. So you do not necessarily have to subscribe to Dynamics 365, but can I have a license of Power Apps which would support the same system? So 
Most importantly, the law of the land. How does this work? Does it confine to the standards that we want to abide by? Very, very much so. So the security compliance, major HIPAA compliance, or let's say Oman ISMS compliance, physical storage regulations, constraints. What we do is, when you are in doubt, because the system is built on Microsoft, we engage Microsoft's legal team. You have a question, we engage the top team, alleviate your concerns, and get you going. That's what we are doing for you. So in conclusion, what I wanted to say here is, hiring is not just about filling vacancies. It is about fueling organizational growth. It's about the pace of innovation and you staying relevant. You make a delay, or the lengthy duration of the hiring process is going to inhibit you from becoming a market leader. So I wanted to say that this system would allow all of you to expedite your hiring process, manage your hiring process, organize your data points, your internal and external data points that would assimilate with the system and create you a fueling application predicated on Microsoft platform, OpenAI. I thank you for the opportunity, Dr. Ghalib, and your esteemed team members. We're very thankful, my colleagues, Kelly, uh, Kyle, Dr. Gopakumar, Sabu, Matho, all of us are here. So if you want to see a live system, how this HR accelerator works, please come and visit us outside. We have a pavilion called Merck Systems LLC in tandem with Microsoft. We'll be happy to demonstrate. Thank you.